Please, sir, stop yelling and let me answer the question. Please, sir, don't use that language, especially when it was you who made the mistake with your order. Hey, boss. I know this is bad timing, but uh, I have to give my notice. Really? I thought you liked working here. I do, but the place I'm going to is starting me at $5 more an hour. I, I can't compete with that. What do you mean you can't meet the deadline? This is the third time this month you're going to be late. I can't run a business when my supplier is so unreliable. Fine, if that's the best you can do. But I expect a discount. Hi. I know it's been a while since we last spoke, but I'm having a tough day and I need someone to talk to. So after you called, I put a few things together. First, we're holding a Dealing with Difficult Customers workshop in a couple of weeks. I'll send you an invite. Secondly, I reached out to a couple of contacts in your industry, and they sent me the names of other suppliers they recommended. Next, here's a contact of the Chamber of Commerce. They're working on some initiatives to help cut down on vandalism of local businesses. Give them a call. Not much I can do to help you with employee retention, but I did pull some info from the government website on support programs. There may even be some money to help with income support. Wow, thank you so much. Things are finally starting to look up. Well, I hope it helps. You know we're always here for you. <laughs> Other than that, how's everything else going? You know, the life of a small business owner. Good days and bad days. <laughs> Even the strongest of us need help every now and then. Call your local Community Futures for business advice or counseling. Ask about our loan program for people with disabilities.